guys after all of these months of talking all of these months of working unboxings and all that other we're finally here trans world trans world 2019 uh We've got a lot going on here. This show is gonna be the biggest it's ever been. We've got a whole section of the show floor that has never been opened before in years past. They've expanded to include Christmas as well as Halloween. So there's no telling what we're gonna see in here. In the meantime, it's gonna be a lot of work. We've got a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, we're bringing you along with us to join us. We, uh, we hope you enjoy this. This will be our season closer. So, it, I mean, I know it's gonna be an awesome show. So uh, stick with us, you're going to want to see this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very pleased to be with one of my haunted house heroes standing right here. She is a makeup artist, lead makeup artist? Not anymore. Okay, formerly the lead makeup <laughs> artist for one of the top haunted attractions in the country, Woods of Terror out of North Carolina. Uh, and she is absolutely phenomenal, Miss Erica Joy Jones. 
thank you so much for being on here. I know there's a lot going on and everything, taking the time to come over here and talk to us. So, anyway, uh, how did you, when, I mean, how old were you when, when you actually first started getting into the haunted attraction, being a scare actor and that sort of thing? I was 15. Wow. When I started, um, I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who worked at Woods of Terror in high school back when you were allowed to work there under 18. And I went through and he said, you should come out and you should try it. And so I came out and I was scared to death. And um, I met Eddie and I met all the actor coordinators and everybody and they just made it really easy. And then I did my first audition and then I was hooked. And I just kept going back year after year. Now when did you start getting into makeup? Um, um, actually, the, my first year, my makeup artist was out sick. Kaylee, um, one of my best friends, she was out sick. <laughs> she was out sick and the lead makeup artist said, well here, I'll just show you how to do your makeup. Because I was a victim, so it was pretty simple. Blood, a couple scars and scratches. Um, after that, I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. Maybe I could learn how to do this. So I started watching YouTube videos and, you know, hanging out with other friends who did makeup and just kind of learning by building and it just kind of took off from there too. Yeah, now you've been to like a lot of like LA and some of these other places yes. since then, so you've really yes. gotten. Now, in case we haven't mentioned it, she is Lucy Lucifer <laughs> at her at the haunted house. Now, how did you come up with Lucy? Lucy? That's um. Oh gosh. Also in high school, I was sitting in the back of my civics class. Um, I was supposed to be doing, you know, work or reading or something, and I yeah, whatever. And I was taking notes, and I was like, I want to come up with an icon character for What's a Terror because they were like, they wanted to start building iconic characters for promotions. This was way before we ever really had any. Um, so we had a group of people who started some, and I looked at it and I was like, I can't do that. I'm not creative enough. I can't act. I'm not that good. So I just started coming up with names, and um, I'm Swedish, so Lucy comes from a Swedish holiday. Um, so I kind of grabbed that and then delved into like the weird, you know, demonic-y stuff. And she started, if I had a picture, I would show you. Lucy, when I first started, was just like in a burned up prom dress, like really weird makeup, was just covered in latex and holes and burns, and it just kind of started from there, and over the years, it actually started growing once I started going to conventions. That's what got me into, I, I found dental distortions, and I found contact lenses, and wigs, and building my costume past just, you know, what I could find at Goodwill. Well, it, you've done a wonderful job. <laughs> I, I, I am going to put some pictures up just to show if, if that's all right. But uh, but anyway, if there's anything else you want to add, you know, talk about Woods of Terror, you know, if you're, when you're, where you're at, where you're, how to get a hold of you. Um, I don't know. I mean, you can find all kinds of information on our Facebook page. Woods of Terror has a Facebook page. I have a Facebook page for Lucy Lucifer. Um, a lot of our icon characters have Facebook pages. We do live feeds every Wednesday or every other Wednesday on Scary Face. Um, I don't know if you've heard of Scary Face. They're based out of Alabama. I feel like that's right. I hope I didn't mess that up. <laughs> um, that's okay. I'm learning something They now. do a radio podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, every Sunday they do a live feed on their Facebook and then um, every other day of the week they have different actors, clowns, characters, all that kind of stuff doing live feeds. So me and Relic do a live feed every Wednesday, every other Wednesday. That's yeah. really cool. So you can find us on there too. And, um, yeah, I mean, what's terror.com or what's terror on Facebook is the best place to get any information. That you okay. Need. All right. Well, we'll put a link down on our, our uh, page down there. Uh, guys, I, I can't tell you how excited I am to have her on here. Uh, if you want to get in touch with her or Woods of Terror to learn more, by all means do so. And in the meantime, I'm going to let this young lady get back to what she was doing. Thank you so much. Absolutely. I'm Thank so glad to me. have you on here. Thank Appreciate you. it.
Well, that pretty much wraps it up for season two. We've got a lot more to show you from Trans World. We'll probably throw a lot more in season three when we get going again. I'm still a couple months behind to get some of our videos out. Plus, we've got some other things from not just another Comic Con, but we've got another Comic Con coming up here soon in April called Heroes and Angels. So, we've got a lot to show you in season three. Plus, season three is going to continue all the way on to our grand finale of Halloween. So, definitely won't, won't want to miss what we've got to show you. In the meantime, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate everything and all the support that you guys give us. We hope you give us a subscribe and a few likes. We like your comments. We like constructive criticism. We want to get better at what we do and how we do it. So by all means, if you've got something you want to tell us that can make us better, let us know down here in the comments. We're also going to have our merchandise available, both for Scared City and for our new movie, Slaughtery, that we're going to start filming actively after Transworld is over with. We've got Blazing Fireworks coming up in July. we got so much going on this next few months. You won't want to miss what we've got going on. Plus, we're going to have some tutorials coming on. So, in the meantime, guys, we're going to finish out Transworld. If you're still here this weekend, we are on. We are in Booth 2001. Sorry, guys, I'm very tired. We're in Booth 2001. Come by and see us. We're right next to Arby and the Brainchild. The Brainchild booth right over here with the spider that's been rolling around. Everybody sees it come on by we're right against the wall down close to escape room city and by the christmas stuff guys we'd love to have you come out and show you what we've got what's new this year in the meantime stay tuned stay safe we're going to start season three pretty quick so don't go anywhere thank you so much for your support and guys we'll be seeing you soon i know what you think is dean winchester standing in front of you that sexy. You like what you see?